here. And heading into September, which typically is one of the quietest months of the year here in Colorado, but it's always worth keeping an eye on. And Who so are these we, guys? I found these guys on our Viero camera out near DIA <laughs> this afternoon. Beautiful. Look at the colors on those hawks. Oh, those are great. Yeah, and they were just uh, looking keeping, for lunch, <laughs> dinner, or something. I think so. There, yeah. They have their own song, you know that. No. I am a raptor. Meat is what I'm after. See, Ooh, Teresa, you can't encourage wow, that behavior because he'll good. do it every time. That's, that's true. good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is what it looks like currently for our camera that's out at uh, City Park. You see the scattered showers? That's really about all they amount to. And you can see them just off to the west here. These are really light. They've been trending to weaken as they come in. So I think maybe a brief shower at the beginning of the Bronco game. That'd be about it for any of your evening plans. Uh, a bit of a different story farther to the east. We have some scattered stronger cells out near Fort Morgan, out just near the Deer Trail area. But those also will likely weaken quite a bit in the next couple of hours. And there's some activity across much of the state moving most Mostly from the uh, northwest to southeast, about 20 miles per hour. I don't expect much in the way of any severe weather. Should decrease as we get to about 9, 10 o'clock tonight. 81 right now at the airport. 77 downtown, 25% humidity. Top temp today was 89, 61 the low. The normals on this last day of August are 84 and 54. Evening, scattered thunderstorms, mainly on the plains. They'll be ending after 9. Temperatures cooling into the upper 60s across the region today. It was not as hot as we had yesterday. 89 in Denver, 81 up at Cheyenne. It's actually been a little cold front that slipped through the area and that's brought slightly higher humidity and will give us the scattered thunderstorm activity for the evening hours. But most of it ends overnight, although not all of it ends overnight. Notice by morning some showers, maybe even a little rumble of thunder or two up over the central mountains around Summit County. Overnight low temperature, 58 Denver, Greeley, Colorado Springs, 39 at Leadville. Front range numbers, mostly upper 50s, a couple of low 60s at lower elevations, and mostly 40s to near 50 in the mountains. There's that scattered shower activity early in the day on Friday. Then that moves through partly cloudy through midday and then more scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon. This is probably the most active day as we head into the holiday weekend. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s for highs and we'll see those readings tomorrow be the coolest over the next few days. So tonight a few showers or storms early then hazy and 58. Tomorrow the high temperature expected to be at 85 with a few afternoon storms. Temperatures warm up for the weekend. 90 on Saturday. 93 with sunshine on Sunday. For Labor Day, a few afternoon storms with the morning will be dry. And then a cooler day comes in Tuesday, just in the upper 70s. And by Wednesday morning, lows in the low 50s. A little bit of fall, perhaps, in the air. Thank you, Mike, both for the forecast and for your nice song.